last week is a slight return to normalcy after the quest to get rid <coughs> of the threat of the Northern Queen. So the party again, as per usual, they split up and went uh, their separate but similar ways, separated but in generally the same direction in which they went to <coughs> investigate the lighthouse at the port. And when they go there, they found some remnants of a haunting or some some nefarious creatures that have taken residence in the lighthouse. And Chen, Chen was sort of zeroed in with a certain question that requires his eternal answer. And answering wrongly made him a target of the attack of the creatures that inhabited the, the lighthouse. And at the same time, it opened up some new questions about what is his thought role in the question that the creatures have asked him. <coughs> so, uh, luckily, all of his cre- uh, all of his teammates banded together enough uh, times, and some divine intervention uh, managed to get him to pull out a miracle and save him in the nick of time from being vanquished. Uh, investigating the lighthouse further, it shows uh, a <coughs> scene of something is missing. The is I save the the mechanism that emanates the light of the lighthouse is not there, or uh, some bits and pieces of it was found in the lighthouse, but invest- further investigation by the party indicates that things should have been more and it was not there so uh, under the <coughs> leadership of Carl who wanted the party to get back to the Daggerford Inn before a certain time the party in haste went <coughs> back to the port in order to make a good time so this is where we left last week with a certain time that they need to come back to the Dekafort Inn. So this is where we begin. So uh, <coughs> upon arrival at the port, they discovered the, uh, Camille was there waiting for, for them at the dock. Uh... Turns out he was a bit uh, immobilized. All right, Kenneth is in. <laughs> so all of you now is at the the port side at the dock that has just returned from your trip from the lighthouse. <coughs> uh, yeah, for, sorry. I think, I think yeah, your voice is it's a bit faint. Uh. Oh. Not 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 as loud. Who my my voice? Yeah. Oh okay. So is it okay now? Uh, a bit better. Okay, okay. Somebody's messing with my speak my microphone again. Ah. <coughs> All right. So, uh, what are you guys gonna do? We are waiting to head back to the inn as soon as possible. Are you wanna join us? Okay. Yeah. It it, it turns out our friend might have some issues. Uh. Uh, yeah, Lionel, Lionel might need our help. Let's return to the inn. And Chen Chen is half dead. So we might need some rest. <laughs> ah, okay. So, yeah, let's go. Let's get back to the Lego Inn together. Mm, Lego. So, as you. So, all of you will be going together this time? Yes, of course, of course. Alright, so... 
just checking. Uh, is Morbius there? Balik. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, just check. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Walking and reading. Walking and reading. <laughs> <laughs> walking and reading, walking and reading. Okay. Awesome. Um, hmm. All right, so. Things are going to get interesting. So, uh, as you were walking and you passed the Mickey Time Shipyard, the area is heavily guarded by uh, various people. So, you saw the city guards guarding it with some soldiers and some unknown players that seems to be burly and trying to uh, make their way in, but it's like an impasse of lots of people trying to guard uh, the same structure. So, you will continue that uh, direct to the inn. It's, the time is about uh, 1 in the afternoon. Okay, still early. Do you know what, what do you want to do? Uh, let's just go. Okay, Mobius? Mobius? Uh, how about you, Camille? Mobius is really good. <laughs> you, you want to confront those those players or you. Wait, 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 wait repeat. Uh, um, G, GM, Jack, repeat? No, um, so you guys yeah, are we, going to do? We are okay, so, so, right. Yeah. You're going by the shipyard, and then there are some people trying to get into the shipyard. So, you want to confront them, or you just want to be on our way? Why do we want to confront them? I uh, thought they might be suspicious people. I have no interest in that. My character has no interest in that. I All right. mean, they could just be owners of stuff inside the warehouse. Uh, yeah, can I check the... What they are wearing, are the uh, attire is familiar to us. Um, so that there, there seems to be three general factions of the people guarding the shipyard. <coughs> One is wearing red. Uh, that seems to be like from the soldiers that you see. Uh, that is familiar <coughs> with <coughs> with uh. <coughs> you're not about Sorry. It's familiar with the Lord Marshal uh, faction. Uh, the city guard is has some blue coloring on their clothes. Uh, it is something that you are very familiar with the normal guards that is police that is policing the inner inner sections of the town. And there seems to be a group of people that does not seem to have a uniform dress. Yes or coats of arms but they just seem to be trying to enter or prevent anybody else from entering so wait they're trying to enter yet at the same time prevent people from entering yes huh. so wait so three factions two city guards two one one city guard one um uh marshal marshals marshals, marshals? The knights? Mm. Yep. Wait, wait. Jim, did you say the knights? The soldiers. The soldiers. Yeah, the, the soldiers, and then the soldier from the uh, grand, the order of the white thingy from the martial side. Wait, are they allowed to come one, in? They are. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Probably at the beast, the count touches, I think. And... The civilians, then. Uh, all right. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and ask them what's going on. Well, from where you see, uh, aside from the the three factions that seems to be either guarding or trying to enter or preventing people from entering the area, you saw a ship right that's out buying some supplies from the street. So it's near the table. A ship right? Yeah, just some. Maybe a shipyard or a ship worker. <coughs> and I go and ask, ask the, the people there. I was like, what, what's going on? What's the commotion here? 
Yeah. Well, you, you, one of the person that you say is you, you saw a performer who is a child apprentice on the street and you asked the performer that, oh, they seem to be, ah, good sir. Ah, they seem to be trying to assert their issue, their authority and the right to confiscate whatever that is in the shipyard. Uh, well, I think that's a city guard's rule that's trying to confiscate whatever. And the soldier is just there to maintain order because the other people there is trying to say that it is their property. Oh, yeah. oh those people. Yeah, I think those are the dog workers or something. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, and the performer told to the child, stay there, stay there, you continue performing while I'll tend to this uh, good master and this lady here. Boom. Nice tail you have. Are they, are they deposing to assert dominance? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, you see, you say that, I, I was half expecting the other person, the, the other factions will have a different shades of blue, but <sighs> you have a blue and red and slightly blue. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do you know, know who are those people? Have you seen them before? Who? Which one? Which one are you talking about? Oh, those people who are trying to get in. Oh, um, oh. some of I think they, from the look of it, they they are warehouse workers. I do perform here from time to time. Oh, do you, have you seen them before? Well, there's lots of workers that come and go. I see. You, you never knew what they're not familiar to you? Uh, unfortunately, sir, I not familiar to me. I see, I see. Interesting, interesting. Well, okay, I'll carry on performance, and i passing two silver coins. This is for you, uh, for your um, child. The, the person, uh, the performer gave you a very uh, big bow and Thank you profusely for your generosity. <coughs> I, I, I go back to the scene and like, oh, guys, look like these are supposedly ship, ship, shipyard workers. Which is odd because as we know, the shipyard is used for everything other than you know, those, this purpose. Huh? It seems more likely they are related to the smuggling that's been going on. Well, uh, as Carl say this, I'm going to try and uh, let's see. I'm gonna try and see if what he says is true or not. Like, do they look like um, smugglers or so on, or they're just normal dock workers? Well, it seems like they they try to assert themselves to be normal dock workers, but uh, again, you saw. Some of them seem to be uh, dressed not like dog workers. Seems to be like they they are used to push people around. At least that's your perception of it. Mm. <coughs> mm, all right. You may have a point there, Carl. Seems like those may be. The bad guys. Yeah, you know what? I want to tell them, but unfortunately, right now, I think Lionel is, has a greater priority since he seems to be in well, very big trouble. We're still early. Meeting is at four. Also, we need to report this to uh, Lenever. So, so what do you say? Should we drop back the animals? Yeah, let's drop by and first tell him about the lighthouse and then we can go to the inn. It's on the way anyway. Yeah, are you okay? You don't sound very well since you transformed back to your form. Shh, nobody needs to know. <laughs> alright, alright. We'll just say it's a curse and then everybody will be well, okay. Well, I Let me something. Sorry? Come here, what? 
Do you want to remember the... out. You'll soon find <laughs> remember, out. Also, remember I, the... Also, I remember the thing that we saw? That. Remember the thing that we saw, Camille? Uh, kind of, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, never mind. Okay, never mind. We just walk on. Yuna, Yuna doesn't know. <laughs> For technically, I technically I call bullshit on timing, but whatever. Well, you can. The GF confirm. GF. No. Uh, can you confirm? Because what 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 happened then was I entered the I entered the what was it called the Grand Play House. Uh, you guys were stopped by the guards for a few minutes. I went through the front door, remove ring. So, uh, so this guy self whatever. So. The timing is a bit off because it's impossible for you to find out going through the playhouse. Oh, let, let me just let me just uh. No, DM 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 whatever I mean. Uh, it's that that session has passed long time already. <laughs> well, but the DM can confirm. <laughs> yeah, I mean whatever I mean whatever we pass we pass. Carry on. All right. So, anyway, um. So you got you will continue going to to the drill field, mm -hmm. more or less. All right. So as you go along the water street, uh, you saw things are less lively as you remembered. Uh, there were still scarred, metal <coughs> scarred from the last uprising and also the the dead walking mm -hmm. and the water street because yeah, you can see some of the Lots of use of fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of fire uh, that stain the 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 walls of the structures. Yeah, I'm just looking around uh, yeah. the environment, as in mm -hmm. the weather. Is it still foggy? It doesn't seem foggy, but it seems like um, as if. It's less, it's less joyful or less activity. It's like people are in a perpetual state of depression. Uh -huh, I mean, it's normal for this area. Yeah, it is more depressed <laughs> than, no, than usual, than you remember. <coughs> right. Right. Continue on, let's walk. And they were looking at everybody as if like they are... You can sense as if as if they are sleepwalking. Wait, uh, aren't we just like went through this road when we are heading towards the lighthouse? Yes, you did. And then suddenly everything is a change of mood. No, uh, before this you are hurrying to go to the lighthouse faster <coughs> than the rest of the, the team. <laughs> Now, as you yep. look at, because Leona now is rolling perception and trying to see nature, she notices something. That, so it's not like people are absent from the street. They are there. But it's just like uh, something's a bit off. Just not lively. La. Yeah, it's less lively. Yeah. All right. So, you go through Horses Way and... The dorms are there. Um, it's a bit quiet. Is it too quiet? Comparatively, <coughs> usually you, you can hear the sound of soldiers uh, going and changing uh, the shape or coming in and out, and people talking, but it's just a bit more muted. Well, you can hear some people inside, and you can see people going in and out. Hmm. You want to make them noisy again? <laughs> no, let's, let's just walk. Let's try not to bring attention to ourselves. And as you go there and you walk, it's as if the two sides of the street towards the poor quarters is a bit more muted while the high road and the rest of the the, the city is a bit more lively uh, you, you saw soldiers uh, now <coughs> walking in 
inside there and looking at the guards and the guards are looking at the soldiers cautiously and warily yeah my question yes winter is already over right yes winter has already over and by now it's supposed to be well spring. welcoming spring <laughs> all right Okay, as you go to the drill field, um, the drill field is still full of people. Uh, the soldiers are the soldiers, and the guards now are mingling. Well, the guards easily outnumber the soldiers, but now it seems like the soldiers are there with the knights <coughs> in order to freely mingling with the guards. So is there any is there any bromance between them? Any what? Bromance. Well, uh, it's not like they are really really friend friend so much. It's just that the the guards are really looking at the them as incoming outside or outsiders that they tolerate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do you guys do? By now, it's around one thirty, about one forty. All right. Um, I go up to Camille. Tells him that. All right. Um, before we go in, I need to disguise myself a bit, so that we don't shock Lenever. I can help. What? You have anything? I got a DVI kit. Okay. Um, let me borrow it then. But how about the circuit? The circuit doesn't work on you. Uh, I can try it again. Yeah, you still need to remind you either one of the items, yeah, not both yeah. at the same time. Yeah, thanks. So, um, do you hand me the circuit? Yeah. Right, um, yeah, you can. You hand me the circle. I take off the ring and pull this one, please, Carl. Just in case. Oh, sh sure. I, I take a piece of fluff and you know, hold, take hold of it. <laughs> Lol. I put on the circle and activate the spell on it. Ah. And the spell, uh, you invoke the enchantment that was imbued. It's the circlet and okay. What do you plan to look like? Uh, previous self. Okay. Now, uh, as of right now, your you remember your previous self. Uh, the way you look, the way your uh, hair uh, moves, and the way you envision yourself, and the spell magically engulfs you and lo and behold you are back to your old self with a tiara uh, on or no tiara on with a circlet on yeah mm, <laughs> tiara all right, <clears throat> all right that's... what was the new self what was it what was the new self what was the new self uh, there's no new self anywho um uh okay uh, this Kind of fixes things for a bit. I need to look at that ring later on. Anyway, um, let's head in then. So you, all of you, are heading in. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. Okay. So heading into the military barracks. Uh, you went there, and there is a new staff sergeant by now. Hmm. And you. You do not see the the familiar faces of the Rotan uh, staff sergeant that used to be uh, manning the the front desk. And this new person looks at you, uh, all of you, and does not recognize you immediately. And the, the staff sergeant says, "Yes, we are here to see Commander Lenifer. And who might you be?" 
I look at him, blinking. I look at Carl with that face of, is he serious? And okay, I look we, we are the midnight hunters. We are, we are the midnight hunters. Uh, we come to we'll see if we're better um, Can I see your papers? Do you have identification? Ah, good lord. You know, well, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. That's uh, fine. I, I, I passed. I show him the identification. Oh. I. It seems legit. Well, carry on. Um. Well, you. I have to caution you. The commander is in a fragile state. Ah. Well. Um. Just go on there and. Just not try not to make any ruckus. We are we are the ones that save him from you know. Oh. I forgive me. I do not know. Ah, you, go you on do not think that that will be like hunters. Uh, you know what I'm I'm quite new. I'm just newly recruited and newly elevated. I I what, used to. <coughs> You don't. You don't have to 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 report me to the commander. I. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my job. I just want to know your name. What's your name? I know you are going to report me. I asking for your name, good good boy, good man. <coughs> good sir. Bo- you call me a boy. Boy. <laughs> are you a boy? You just. You, you just. Hey, he just. Does, is he look younger than me, or he's older than me? Well, he looks younger. I mean, you want me to call you a good sir? I am Abbasin Koli. <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> a what? A, a bride, Koli? Abbasin. Abbasin. Uh, okay, can you spell Koli? He be so. Abbasin. 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 <laughs> 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 I was in Choli. Are you making fun of my name? Well, I mean, I'm just trying to pronounce the case. Can I help you spell your name? Abba Sin Choli? Abba Sin. Abba Sin. Abba Sin. Ah, okay, okay. That, that, that's a unique name. I've never heard that before. Choli. Ah, okay, okay. I see, I see. I just got confused there. <coughs> oh, okay. oh, nice to meet you, Abba Sin Choli. I am Carl from the Minute Hunters. This is my group. Leona. I point to Leona. That one is Vincent Morbius. The one that reading book is Vincent Morbius. I point to him. I mean, don't matter. Yeah, I can can hear him muttering my name. Yeah, don't uh, don't don't you don't want to mess with him. He is very dangerous. And that's uh, that's our bud, Camille. That's Chen Chen, and this is Kenis. I point to our Mandalorian. <laughs> well met, well met. Again, forgive my. My earlier lapse of judgment. I do not recognize you. I'm quite new here. I I used to be patrolling the outskirts. Outskirts? You mean out of town? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I I was stationed down south a bit. How's the situation down south? You don't know. Uh, rumors and whatnot, but what first uh, never heard from first. And ex- encounters. Oh, you do, you are not familiar with uh, recent developments. Well, uh, a lot going on here and there, but uh, do update us. What is it? Oh, I I used to be stationed uh, a bit at the Crom's Hole, mm-hmm. but most of us from the Duchess retinue was being pulled back. There seems to be a bit of family quarrel. Uh, that's as delicate as I can put it. The dukes from from Paul. Yeah, I remember them. They not. I, I guess they're not satisfied with something now. Uh, are you talking about the treason? No, not the treason. I'll, I'll talk uh, about it later. I'll talk about it later. We, we don't have much time to spend on this. Anyway, um, we need to see Lenever as soon as possible. We'll get out of his hair as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for 
uh, announcing a service team. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, right this way up. All right. Okay. Yeah, remember to spread the we, we are the midnight hunters. We are those who hunt. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are the hunters of darkness that uh, <clears throat> envelops this town. And we are the problem solvers of this dagger fort. Why don't you just you got say, Why don't you just say we are the night, we are vengeance? <laughs> yes, I have yeah. a friend named Kevin. <laughs> oh, poor him. Yeah. Sad, sad yes. life. Yeah. He he uh, recently you... pa- he recently passed. Mm. He can speak that line really well. I know. Kevin will always be my uh, heart. <laughs> well, if you if you know if you have anything, you can let us know. We we could help. Yes, and uh, would you like to go up? Yes, please. Yes, let's go. As you go in, uh, as you go, uh, you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You saw somebody that went down the stairs uh, and passed passed the stairs and went straight to the door and left the get, went out of the barracks. Do 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 I recognize the person? He that person either he or she well looks like male and he has his uh, hood pulled up. A meal? Yes. He or she? Well, seems like... Uh, no, I know. Well built. Looks like meal. <clears throat> and... Jaro, that you? What is it? Master Jaro, that you? That that person simply just uh, went out the door and did not even look behind. <coughs> All right. So we hit it. The party date. So you are heading in. Um, I think Camille wants to. Uh, yeah, Camille wants to check out the bait. Uh, yeah, let's play the game. So uh, we either all take the bait or we just go check the room. Your choice. Up to you, man. Mm, I don't think anything. I think it's going to be normal. Alright. So, uh, are you going up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, going up, you went up the stairs, and as usual, you you have not been here for quite some time, but the the staircase is quite familiar to most of you. Yes. Is there anybody new here? Well, I'm not sure if uh, Vincent Morbius is has been up here. Yeah, Morbius never been to the office. He, he has there. been. No, yeah, we. Yeah, he, he's been here. Remember when we first time when we came? When yeah, he, but he, he just tagged us. But, but he wasn't. Office. Yeah, but he wasn't in the office. He he only he was outside. Don't remember. Never mind. Anyway, so we go in. you went to the door. Um, do you knock or do you just march in? Wait, isn't uh ever seen uh leading us in? No. We knock. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. He just um, direct you upstairs. Alright, we knock. And you knock, and somebody, there's a voice from inside. A uh, bit soft. Enter. Okay, we enter slowly, going in. And the room is. has incense smells in it. And you, you saw the commander is. Not at his desk. More like now there is a, a full bed mm. where his desk, where, where the drawers and the documents are. 
and he is um, on his, the bed, and he is as if like he is resting a bit. Is there anybody else in there besides him? There is a priest. Oh. There seems to be like an acolyte or a priest that seems to be tending him and burning more incense. Uh, do we remember this uh, acolyte priest? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. This uh, she is the one that that has been there assisting you in the battle during the Geoffrey oh, debacle. Wait, this was the one that went down and got back up? No, went down and brought to the church to be revived. No, that is the uh, the war priest. Oh. This is the acolyte. This is the one that was tending to him when the fight was going on? Yes. I thought there was a guy. Well, you don't know. No, we did. Oh, wait. I, I, I kind of did. <laughs> you were out, though. <laughs> no, um, I was there in the building checking up on him. Okay, true, true. Mm. All right. Have a, have a scene? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, right. okay, so uh, the, the commander is, a, uh, seems like he is a shadow of his former self. He seems to be a bit uh, weak, mm. but still seems to have fire in him. Ah. I've seen you for some time. Uh, hello, Commander. Um, is, this, is this a bad time? Because we, we got some news that we want to relay, kind of very important news. But if this is a bad time, we can just get out of here. Well, come in, come in. Since you are here, right. it's better for me too. Right. Lenimba, are you are you okay, Lenimba? We I we haven't seen you since the well, you know. This the shipyard. Are you are you doing better? I'm recovering. Good, 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 good. I'm recovering, but it seems like I don't feel like I'm my old self. You just need to relax. You just need to relax. Lay down on the bed. What, what, what? Let me do something. Just, just lay down on the bed. Um, what, what do you mean, Laniva? What do you mean? What do you mean by you don't feel like your old self? Uh, I seem to have lost some of my energy. Uh, the heel at the, my side chest, <coughs> by all accounts, seems to have healed, but there is uh, traces of, I don't know, I rarely encounter this this wound. It's a bit odd. See? I'm even having trouble taking some breath. That's that's, right. that's quite odd. We'll see what you can do. But if you don't mind, just lay down on, bit, on the bed for a bit. Uh, I go to the head of the bed and I touch it. And I cast the Moto G, uh, giving it a little shake, or a little vibration. Does the Moto G do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Massage bed. <laughs> mm. uh, how's, that, how's that feeling? Uh, uh, hard to say. <laughs> and the acolyte have, has this. I must protest. It's all in, it's all in massage. Uh, my teeth are shaking. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. But um, on a serious note, uh, we just came back from the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Mm -hmm. That has been out of commission for some time. I asked my man to look into it when... It was out of commission back then, but they either they fled in terror, saying that there is they, they saw something crawling from the lighthouse the, the, the night 
the light went out. There's a few things going on there. Um, let's just go from the bottom up. From what we know, the lighthouse was infested with spirits inside, evil spirits, and we managed to defeat them. And somehow they were elvish spirits who were looking for a elf named Aglaron. Um, besides that, when we head up to the upper top section of the lighthouse, uh, we saw that the mirror that's bouncing the light is broken. Um, also, we suspect that they might be, or there was a werewolf over there hiding or nesting for a bit. Werewolf? It, it might be the, there, may, there might be the werewolf that destroyed the lighthouse, the, what kind of thing? The glass that's supposed to emit the light on the lighthouse. Probably, but we're not 100% sure which one came first. But the report that my man says has, otherwise, it does not seem to look like a werewolf. Does the werewolf climb down walls? We got no idea. Um, from what we checked, the prints were werewolf based, but we got no idea if he came before or after the light was broken. And the reports that you receive about a figure that's climbing that could be the werewolf. But we got no idea. Nothing solid or concrete. But what we do have is that the spirits that's um, staying at the lighthouse are defeated and are gone. For now. You know, Commander Nanimba, do you remember the uh, when we defeated the Garo? There was a large werewolf that ran away from us. Lead that to me? Yeah. Yes, we did. Do you remember? Oh, my memory seems to have been failing after. Uh, well, you thought... I don't think that's related to this one. The... the yes, but the, unfortunately, the... Foot, the footprints matches uh, that werewolves. The large werewolf that we fought earlier. I mean, there could be multiple large werewolves, but let's not... Not, 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 not this, not this one. This matches his prints that I saw. I, 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 I was, I tracked his footprints back then, and I know his exact shape, and it seems to be his footprints. So that doesn't explain why he was in Tiger Fort. It doesn't, but we do know that he is, he was in Tiger Fort, and he was at the lighthouse. And coincidentally, he was at the place where the lighthouses light, <laughs> like mm. emitting diode. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> oh, like Zai Diamond. <laughs> like emitting mirror, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was destroyed. So it cannot be a coincidence. I think he might be the perpetrator here. Are you sure? Uh, because the light has been out of commission for about a year. Oh, that's odd. That means he... It's like what Yuna say. He could have been there or... Yeah. Or he could have been involved with that. We don't know. But if that... If, but, if the, but if the others, the letter is true, then... This is much disturbing. That means the werewolves were already active a year ago. Is that why? Because it is not the first time that we try to send people to fix that. That being a vital infrastructure for our trade and lighting the, the areas at night. Yeah, that that being said, uh, like what Diona has explained, we managed to clear out clear out the mm, the lighthouse, and I think we can begin the repair works soon. Yeah. 
That is good news. Finally, after some time, I <coughs> blasted Hoon. Would you like? Uh, can you? He he motioned to Master Cleric. Would you be so kind as to look a bit at the wound that I suffered? Motion to Chen Chen? Or the... Chen Chen? Are you there? Chen Chen? We can't, we can't hear you, unfortunately. You're muted, I think. Yeah, all, all we hear is static. Oh no, Chen Chen? Ah, that's all okay. Ah, I think you have your own. Uh, Jim, I, I cast Detect Good and Evil on, uh, well, uh, on the Laniwa. Alright. You detect right. uh, lots of good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's no evil? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. But, 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 but I assume that there, there is a certain evil next to me, right? Uh, close to you. Close to me. Is he undead or something else? Uh, you only cast. Does detect evil detect undead or not? Yes, undead. Uh, good and evil. If I'm not mistaken, it detects undead and also, uh, celestial. Everything oh, okay. with yeah, basically it, I can know what it is. Obviously. Okay. I think is it. Uh, if the star is not not mistaken, fiend, celestial, and one more type. How do I put this? Okay, detect evil and good. Let's see. Uh, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, aberration, or undead. Okay, within 30 feet. So, you do not detect any undead. Uh, seems like things are quite alive. Oh, there's no aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend within 30 feet of me? Does aberration include mutants? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I think so. You walk right into that. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, 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 well, uh, aberration includes mind flayer, beholder, elder brain, my witness, and all those uh, <clears throat> gothic horror, intellect devourers, death kisses. Yeah. Well, oh. some, some things off. You do not detect undead, but there there seems to be traces of uh something unfamiliar. No, no abrasions. No, it's not. It's okay. Not. All right. All right. I just look at I just look at uh Morbius is like holy oh, shit vampire. Mm. It's the most alive vampire that you have ever seen. <laughs> I, I, as we know, vampires are legendary creatures. I do not want to mess with a vampire in my party since he's friendly. So I was like, mm, okay, okay. Yes, you cannot shake that thing after you saw him transform several times. Shake that thing. Okay, anyway, um, yes. And, well, ooh, okay. Ah. So. Is that the eight or? Eighteen, 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 eighteen. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Eighteen. All right. Oh, yeah. So, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I think Chen Chen, Chen Chen's mic was, is, is yeah. something wrong with Chen Chen's mic. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, so, yeah. uh, Lenovo requested this unusual request, uh, and then as he opened the his dressing to the side of his chest, uh, Chen Chen saw. It seems like. Uh, it looks like a cauterized wound. It does not fully heal, even with all the healing magic that is available in in this uh, realm. <laughs> uh, the wound seems to to still bleed. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. GM, do I recognize yes. any of the wound? Have I seen it before? Uh, why don't you roll 
Let's see. What do you wrote? Eh? Uh, history. History. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh. You know what? Damn. Can I roll history as well? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. How, how bad can I roll? Let's see. <laughs> nope. Ooh. Yep, bad. <laughs> that bad. How bad? Yes, that bad. Bad. That's like hmm. It's it's it, it's a very bad wound. Hmm. Yes, it's yeah, a bad yes. wound. Yes, it's a bad wound. But, I see. Uh, Chen for Chen, uh, it seems like this is something that is not usually. It doesn't seem to be natural. And as try as it might, it does not seem to be like a natural, normal wound from anything that nature of the nature of this realm can inflict. For Leona, it seems to be alchemical in nature. Mm. Yeah. Can I rule for Arcana to check whether in my arcane knowledge, is there a way to help cure the wound? Why did you do Arcana? I relate to Vincent what I know about the wound, and he has advantage on roll. Uh, advantage well, is it? I mean, you oh, no. do you do know what's ailing him, or you do get a sense of what to look for in your memories or stuff. So that helps instead of doing in blind. Yeah. Right. Sure. Okay. Uh, it seems to okay. Ooh, okay. Just Well, slightly better. Okay. Sure. Slightly better. So this this thing. Seems to be okay from now. It seems like everybody is surrounding Lenever and looking at the wound, and Chen Chen was trying to uh, nurse and look at the wound. The rest are just trying to poke it to. Ooh, it's a hole. <laughs> Try <laughs> see. Let's see. Uh, and then Vincent said, "Okay, let's see if I my finger can go through or not." <laughs> can, can I borrow? <laughs> can I borrow Camille's dagger? <laughs> Hmm. All right. Uh, from what you from what you remember, or uh, you know, uh, this is the description of the the wound that he suffered at the warehouse or the shipyard, and it seems to be the report before this. It is from a certain crystal that was embedded. So your arcana. Seems to indicate that. Oh, okay. Everybody wants to roll. Sally <laughs> roll All right, sure, sure. No, everyone roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. The crystal is inside him. What was still inside him? Mm. Uh, no, that's not okay. Right now, yes, you even tried poking, and he was screaming, and. <laughs> Uh, does not seem to have any crystal inside him. And says, That bloody blue hat girl have extracted everything. Stop poking my wood. What? Wait, what? Blue hat girl? Yeah, you remember the uh, healer from Karatur? The, the I, 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 I don't know. You know, but I don't know. We were told this. Remember? Get off me! Wait, blue hat girl? How 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 did she look like? Blue hair. I. <laughs> she had a silly silly look on her face, very smug but but very dumb. I was in and out oh. of consciousness. I just saw a blue hair, and then I, I see. just I just hear the person. Yeah, it's out. The, I asked the priestess, did she, did she, the priest attending to Lenniver, did, did she look like uh, what, what I described just now? Looks very smug and have a dumb face, <laughs> but very dumb. 
do not know how her race look uh, like you say smug. Well, she seems to be cute, but uh, well, not as cute as me. But... I, 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 I do a minor illusion. Uh, how, how, how she looks like. Does she look like this? Or like this? Oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> minor illusion. <laughs> Like what? Like what? Uh, I I use my illusion to show her the image of uh <coughs> of of this of this girl, blue hat girl. Okay. Well. Oh. Uh. I, well, she she seems to be more regal than that. I see. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe a different blue hat girl. Yeah, I think she she was brought in by by the envoy. I see. Sure, surely they do not have that. Well, she has a. Well, she's wearing this fine silk dress. Yeah, even though it's cool, doesn't seem to be bothering her, and she she has an umbrella with some flowers on her hair. Brought by the envoy Lady Marco. Does she look like this? No. Oh, okay. Probably, probably, probably someone else then. Lol, kenapa did you? The two blue head girl that I know. <laughs> Lol, you cross universe, ah. <laughs> and. That, that, Cam- Camille seems to be her. Huh? <laughs> Son, I think this is Isekai Quartet we met before. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when, yes. when you say the wound is um, alchemic, al- alchemic in nature, uh, is it reminding me of a certain group near my home? It seems to be familiar to you. Hmm. Ah. All right. <coughs> That's concerning. Ah, uh, can you can you roll investigation? Investigation. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So nothing much that other than yeah, it is a gaping wound, and you just. Uh, for Chen, it's, it seems like it does not seem to look like a shrapnel wound. It's more like for Chen, uh, it seems like more like a projectile wound. Because Chen rolled a medicine that's quite high. Uh, he will know whether a projectile wound is something like shrapnel or something explosion. Uh, that would be kind of wound that seems to be jagged. But this seems to be invasive. More, more precise. Lah. Yes. More precise punches. Mm. Anyway, um, we bothered you. <coughs> Stop fucking me! Stop touching me! Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, we we worry you enough. Um, we'll get out. See the world, they say. <laughs> we, we'll, Join the army, they say. We'll get out of your hair and um, do get better uh, soon. Don't no, don't just get out of my hair. Get out of my wound. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, whose um, finger is still inside your wound? Oh man! Damn! Even my son That's does awesome. not treat me this way. <laughs> but but anywho, uh, we, we'll get out of your hair and. Uh, our jobs and oh speaking speaking of speaking of your son what did, you, did you uh, uh who, who was the guy that you know came came visiting you before us oh that yeah that's my son it is literally your son did i not tell you this before no i don't think you shared with us your family relations it's the black sheep of the family. Uh-huh. 
Oh, I see. What so he, he he has a black skin. Oh God. Hell no. His fair skin, blonde. Oh, okay. What 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 happened? Why is he the black sheep of the family? Ah, uh, spoiled brat. Keeps hanging out with bad crowds. Does Ouch. not want to serve. Who does he hang out with? Ah. This and that. Well, uh, months, months ago, he was hanging out with this girl. Oh. What's her name? What's her name? I don't know. Some scruffy girl. But they From keep saying the that she needs help. Quarters? We don't keep... Ten <laughs> <laughs> Ten's got a good idea. Mm. That's... Oh, yes, that. Does your son like coffee? Uh, not that person. Well, what, 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 what? Well, Commander, let him work. <sighs> yeah, other than this, I need to ask you. I should need to talk to you. Uh, something urgent. This is about Jonathan. Jonathan? Mm. Jonathan. Yeah, what about him? Well, is he still... Does he hold, still hold a position? In your... No, in your group? Yeah. He's... Well, he's a political appointee. The thing, the thing is, Commander Lenevo, I think... Uh, we, we... We suspect Jonathan might be involved with whatever that happened in the shipyard. Remember... Remember... Uh, our encounter? The... Wait, uh, what's his name again? Uh, shit, I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, what, what, what was the name of, of the boss that we killed and he came back to life again? Joffrey? Oh, uh, yeah, Joffrey. Remember Joffrey? We, yeah. he, he, well, so for some reason, he has been asking the guards not to patrol that area at a certain point of certain times and has been deploying the people away from that area. And he was acting mighty suspicious once, once you, <clears throat> once we, uh, we managed to subdue Joffrey, <laughs> and and you were out. Are you sure that is a grave accusation? Oh, we can confirm this. Exactly. Go by the It's he is very well connected. Yeah. Also, yeah. he's stupid new in the military ranks. Out of Not nowhere, I... he be. Him. Not my choice. Yeah, like I said, out of nowhere, I still believe that there's something fishy going on in there. I tend to believe you, since you have not failed me before. Well, let's just put this, let's just put a pin on this and not hurl any accusation without any proper evidence. We do have leads, but no evidence as of yet. Right now, what we can say is we'll just look into it and see what we can dig up. But for now, I think, Carl, we may be a bit low on time. Okay. Well, Commander Daniver, if you need us, you know where to find us. We are at the Dagger Fort Inn. We are usually at the Dagger Fort Inn. Be safe. You too. <laughs> be well. <coughs> so, uh, with that, he he waved you away from his chambers. And he head up. Before that, uh, blah, 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 blah. does minor illusion cost spell slots? Nope. Minor illusion is a uh, cantrip. cantrip. Carl, could you just show an uh, illusion of how John John looks like to Epicene? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll show our. John, John, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Joestar. Uh, but it was me, do you? <laughs> hey, anyway. Um, okay. Hey, ever seen? Do you recognize? Did this person came in? Did he look like this? And I motioned to Carl. So, uh, you recall the both of you have recalled uh, meeting John John. Mm -hmm. uh, are you okay? 
which image are you showing at the scene? I leave it up to Carl. I think I only met him once or twice before. Dead or alive? Yeah, I'll, I'll just show. I just show any picture as well. That I could recall. <coughs> you recall meeting? Okay. Uh, pick a name. John John or Jonathan? Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan. So, you show you showed Jonathan's picture at at Everson, and yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> that is a captain. That unworthy with the title of captain. Did he came in here just now before us, or was that another person? No. No. Okay. He does not dare come in here. But why? Why do you say that he's not worthy? Did Did he do something to you? No. Not directly. But you know, word gets around the barracks saying that he has been abusing his staff and all the guards. Where he is located, <laughs> uh, word gets around that he is unworthy to be even called noble. Oh, even that. Uh, what was his family name, if you recall? Uh, I do not recall his family name. Uh, I don't care so much any about him at all until. I struck him from my memory. Alright, no problem then. Just wondering. Anyway, can I see you again ever seen? See you later. Let's head off. <clears throat> As we head up of the uh, military barracks at the Dreamfield, I'll ask anyone. Do we still have the shard with us? That is a good question. Do we? Not, not, not the one that was stuck at the, uh, into the commander. I think that one was with the marshal. But do we have any other thing that similar to that? Yes, we did. Uh, I found a shot in the office, and as we know, Camille could not identify it, but it's with me. All right, cool, cool. Can you give me that for a second? Uh, sure, but let's let's do it at the the inn. Is it okay? Uh, it's I don't uh, want to do it out in the open. And just subtly put it into my bag. I'll I I have something to check upon on to with it. Mobius, let's do it in. I don't I don't want to encounter any trouble while we were we, we are we are heading to our location. Leona, can you roll perception? You notice that this is a far cry from Carl's previous conduct about uh, being all in the open and very visible. Oh, I can never do that. Uh... <laughs> hey, 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 hey when, when, when it comes to loot, I always do it in an enclosed space. If you recall, all, all the time. The normal times we were checking weird stuff, but this is loot. It's always inside the inn, all enclosed space, right? Is this loot? <laughs> nah, he seems to have a an attraction to having a spectacle. Well, yeah. in, in a way, yeah, for loot, he is very cautious. Yeah, uh, uh, he yes, is the rest very, is very loud. Yes, Carl, Carl, Carl is the type that show off, tom, show off tom, a lot. Shame, shame. <laughs> yeah, what was the one was with a, the one was, was with a purpose. <laughs> yeah, <I see. laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, with the purpose. Uh, yeah, what time is it? Should be about now, one something. No, now by now, he, he, you, the hobby of poking into people's wood, buka luka lama. Uh, you notice that it is now about two thirty. Yep. Yeah, let's say let's say to take a fourteen. I have a short rest, mm-hmm. and we can look at that shot later. It, but we are doing the short rest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So it took time for you to go back. Uh, to where you are, uh, to to the Dagger Fort Inn. So while you are here, you notice a leather worker carrying some flowers on the streets. 
and you also notice soldier on duty and eating a quick bite on the street. Oh, that's not good. Why? In the pet there, there's more petrol. This the streets isn't that <clears throat> usually not that hot with soldiers. Since the since the guards and the soldier are intermingling with the knights, so there's good bound to be more patrol, so that's good. I I I, I whispered to Tim, did you know what happened? Basically the Dutch the Duchess's uh, cousins they are revolting against her. Inside, 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 let's go. And for Kenneth, he noticed, well, being a bounty hunter, he noticed somebody that resembles a bounty hunter asking about a mark on the street, openly. A mark? What type of mark? A mark as in uh, the hunt, lah. The, the target, yeah. the bounty yep. <laughs> that's being hunted. Oh, okay, okay. I thought, I thought it was like a mark or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mark. Oh no. Alright, so. And as you go here, you notice some crowd that seems to be like spoiling for a fight in front of the Daggerfall Inn. And you see, you notice some of the, the damage from the previous explosion is still visible in a way. Mm. <laughs> Let's move along, move along. <laughs> These are I not the droids you're looking for. Move along. This, move the, along. this is not the explosion that we're looking for. <laughs> mm, okay, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Alright. So, we went into the inn. So, are uh, you going straight to the inn? Yes. Uh, well, yeah. Let's just go straight to the inn. Yeah. So, oh, no, it's dark. Our token is not here. Oh no, our token is not here. All the tokens are not there. That's funny. Uh, oh, but my but my but my token yeah, is because there. last week we had a speed session. Yeah, yep. yeah. Party. Hey, That's hey. why we are our token is not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you okay? Our, yeah. our token had adventures. <laughs> yes, your token had adventures. Now you are here. All oh, right. Yeah. Hey, Lino. Uh, even with a roll perception check, uh, Leona notices uh, the inn is a bit deserted. I know. I was about to comment on that. And I know. Just uh, oh, oh, hello. Hello, I know. How are things going? It's a bit quiet. That is true. By the way, any messages came in for me? Oh yeah. Um uh, there is one. It came in early this morning. Oh, wait, what? How early? No, um I don't know, it's sometime not that early. I think it's around almost noon or something. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Well. See, I don't know. Let, let me let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Ah, uh, well, uh, there you are. I see. Thank you very much. I'll be taking this and reading it personally. Thank you very much, Lionel. Ah, uh, okay. I hope it's good news. Seems to be coming from quite far, uh, quite a distance. You see all the postage marks. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it oh. that never says written to sender. Oh wow! What? what where? Where they came from, Lino? Far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know. Well, I'm just the postmaster. Oh well. Speaking of which, Lino, what? Why? Why the inn is deserted today? I have no idea. It is a bit weird. Mm. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, and the peop I mean, we saw people out fighting outside for some reason. <sighs> about that. Uh, 
you, well, what? Remember the last time you you were here? There was and then there was a, an attack at the front. There was a large explosion. Yeah, some some dimensional being put put the bomb in the in. I think. I think I know who. Who is it? Uh, it may, must be Daenerys. He has been, well, since the inn is deserted anyway, I think I can freely talk to you here. Oh, you know what? Uh, sh shall we put up a close sign outside the inn? I've never closed the inn, ever. I see. But, yeah, I guess so. Prudent. I would say prudent since we are going to talk about something. Yes. As I, as I help him lock the door, I say, manners make it man. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh, here's an umbrella for you. And uh, a mug of ale. He <laughs> <laughs> accept it. And, and your target can be either be Camille or Kenny's there. Boing! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I come out and check. Oh, um, meeting started. Uh, is the inn empty? Proper empty? Yes, I, I think I think so. Let's uh call I'll, I'll call our check. friend. I'll check. I'll check uh, the bathroom. Is there anybody in the bathroom, GM? You saw somebody that okay. You saw a lady that is doing her business there. Ah. And she does not appreciate you opening the door directly looking at her. I mean, it's okay. All bathrooms were open back then. As as we can see from this oh place. God. You, you, where, you, you see where, everyone, where everyone can see you shit together. It's like, hey bro, oh how's your shit God. doing? You, you say that, right? I was in the school where I was voting and there's no closed door to go into the bathroom. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, did you get it? I can imagine. I can imagine someone sitting there. Hey, bro, how's your poop? <laughs> hey, bro, the poop's good today. Mm. Uh, and, want and to see? Leona, just to make sure, Leona closed the door as she uh, came out of the bathroom. I closed close and barred it. Mobius, uh, Mobius, come. Uh, we, we have something to discuss. Come, uh, come, <laughs> come. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mobius, Vincent, Mobius, uh, and uh, as that. Come, Morbius, come here. Okay. I guess you're doing the come. And, so we, and with that, I pass him the crystal shard nah, that I found. The large crystal shard. It seems to be able to absorb magic. Handle it with care. Yes, and I take it out. Lah. But it's yeah. still covered in cloth. Hmm? Lionel, Lionel saw this. He says, that looks a bit like a smaller shark. What what what? I know you 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 seen this before. Oh, oh did I speak? I, I yes. think I've seen this before. Oh, but where? Oh, that is what. Well, I just passed this to somebody. Well, you know me, like I think, like a postmaster here. So I do handle packages. Uh, this is one from, from I think from JNT. <laughs> JNT sounds familiar. Is it is it is it where they kick your boxes and throw them throw them aside? Yeah. I see. Well, the, not a good not not a good over reputation. Uh, one of my customers complained that his package was sort of split open and then retaped back. <laughs> Some things that were missing inside. I know, right? Mine, mine's one as well. Mine's one as well. Very bad handling. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, anyway, uh, uh, huh? What, what, what is that? Anyway. Uh, who, who, may, may I know who do you hand it to? Oh, that was this messenger. I, I, I think it's from uh, Lel Express or something. Yeah. Lel <laughs> Move. 
Uh, do, do, do you know who, who, who might be the receiver or the sender? Lel. <laughs> Express. Let's say, yeah, yeah, seriously? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I thought he is the messenger that is supposed to deliver to the Lord Daenerys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. That's I, I, not... was un- I, I was under the, uh, under the pressure that it, it was for him. But then again, Daenerys came. Oh, yeah, you recall. Ah, the Nanus didn't receive, receive it. And he was mighty angry, saying that I lost his package for uh, That's bad. That's not good. Um, mm, did, was he angry because of that? I think so. He keeps saying that now I owe him that, the value of that package. That's suspicious. Do you... Hmm. I don't even know the value of that. Lionel, Lionel, come, come, come and sit down. Come and sit down. Sit down next to us. Uh, I need to sit down. Lionel, Lionel, you... I have something bad to tell you. It seems this package... What's that this? This package, we managed to find it in the office of the shipyard. Where you do you know Joffrey? Joffrey? Isn't that the, the are you still talking about that Joffrey that was standing to the Duke that the, the late Duke? Joffrey. The the master healer that attended to the noble family of the Duke? I think one of the same. Well he he's more of a Master, well, he's more of a cultist right now than a master healer. I only know him as a master healer. He, How did he fell from grace that far? Uh, well, the bad thing, the bad thing is, uh, we found this in the place where he was. He was at, and it was stored in the office. And there were also more of this stuff. In that place as well. A lot more. Yes. Tear. Tear, Pass, and Hanuman. Wait. Different. <laughs> Different world. That's what from Wakanda. Before I'm paid. What are you saying? What is that? And why does Denaris want it so badly? That he flew into a rage. We don't know. Mobius, what what, what you doing, Mobius? No, 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 Mobius. Say, wait, wait, wait. Going to travel for a moment. No, wait, wait, Mobius. (laughs) Wait, can can you pass me back the crystal? I'll pass you back the crystal. Why? You you're passing me back the crystal, right? Yep. Yeah. No, it's this seems to be related to Daenerys and Lionel here. The crystal. Uh yeah, sure. Just be careful, Vincent. We'll be here for a while. I need the crystal, actually. Uh if that's the case then just wait for a moment. Let's discuss with Lionel here. Right? What? What would you discuss? So, so yeah. What? What? So, what? What? What happened actually with with uh, Daenerys? Well, he came in here and saying that I owe him owe him that package, and I, in good faith, have passed it to the courier that's bearing his message, or. His letter. I even gave him a receipt. He keeps insisting that he did not receive it. He... That's, that's all I know. That's all I know. Oh. 
that's the case, then how much how much did he say he owe, you owe him? He says I owe him more than I can imagine. Okay. I I might have to foreclose my business. That doesn't really explain how much you owe him. Oh, if that's the case, this is interesting because this sounds. Hmm. Is is Nip still is Nip still in the room? No. Don't know? Uh, uh, let me check. No, he's not. I see. So, so Lino, you might want to sit back, but. Uh, I am sitting. How how far? How do you want me to sit on the floor? <laughs> just, 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 just hang on. Just, be, I'm gonna tell you this, this to you. Well, Nips say that the Daenerys is the one that sabotaged his business before, and took over his business from him. And as you know, most of the businesses are owned by Daenerys in this town. So, I know. Do you know what, what I'm trying to say? He's a bully. Yeah, everybody knows he's a bully. No, I know. You've been set up. Um, Carl, I want to suggest something, but you may not like it. Yeah, go on. I think most of you would not like it, but remember the boon we had from the Duchess? Let's use it to help Lionel. I don't think the boon would help much, because... This is the how's it? This is the guy's plot to sabotage Lionel. Yeah, but if His... the Duchess clears the receipt and bill, and leaves, um, and has a order to set Lionel free of anything, payment or whatsoever, and also any disturbance from um, Daenerys, that. Help him. Hmm. That that might be the case, but Leona, you do realize that there are a lot of those crystals in the warehouse, right? Were they? I thought. How how many are how many were they? Because I was not uh, where you were. I only found this last chunk, but when there was there was an explosion, when uh, Commander Lanivel was down at the, at the basin floor, he got struck by one of the pieces. So I believe there were quite a few. And there was a very weird magical explosion happening. Uh, while you were knocked out, of course. Yeah. There was a huge magical explosion. So all of, all in all, Leona, is I don't think this is something that the Duchess can handle very well because another reason is that we, Daenerys might be working with Joffrey. Well, that's obvious. But the thing is right now, um, our friend here is yeah. in deep shit and... We got no idea how much he owes, quote unquote, he owes to Daenerys. So that's, if that's we the can... thing. Lino, Lino, can you? Did you have a receipt showing what was in the package? Uh, yeah, it just says here it's a big rock collector's edition. <laughs> oh no! Is it four packs of booster packs worth nine? Well, $1,100? I don't know. I wouldn't know about that. I just have this oh, no. collective rock marvel, something that's collector's edition, and then I'm supposed to pass it to somebody bearing this person's signature. And yeah, it checks out. <sighs> what am I going to do? I don't have big plans. Big, big plans. Lionel, Lionel, relax. Not relax. as big as Big Max. Can you can you can you pass me how pass me this uh receipt? Can I can I take a look at it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll just take a look at it. Did, did, did it say what type of rock? Well, it's covered. It's covered. Well, I do get a glimpse of it when the the courier opened it a bit in front of me. It seems like a glistening rock. It's a mana rock. But the thing is, but the thing is, it didn't say what type of rock, right? We could just put any rock inside. Well, it, it looks like purplish or bluish, and it does seem to 
shine a bit. It, it looks. Even, yeah, is that even like a description? I I just saw that at the corner of my eye. It, it does it look? Like, does it look like our our rock, right? Well, it, it, the shine is a bit similar. Yours is just a a small piece of shot. Yeah, it, it, this if the size of the package. It looks like a bigger piece. It's like a block. So th you're saying that this this was a larger, sh that that one was larger, or this one was larger? The the package that what the courier took is larger. Yes, it's just a teeny weeny, tiny splinter. Ah, sorry, sorry to say. Wait, this large chunk is a teeny tiny splinter? No, 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 no. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what are we talking about here? I'm just looking. Uh, the courier that took the rock, that, that rock is big. Much so, bigger than this one. Yes, definitely. Oh, God. What That's... you have there is just a small piece. It's a shot, right, Jim? Yes, it is a shot. It's not yeah, a, a chunk. It's not a chunk, it's a shot. Yes. No, my, but my one, my one is larger than the one that was stuck inside Vladivar. That one was a tiny piece. This one's larger, much larger. Yeah, probably just a uh, hand you know, can fit right into your palm. Big size. Yes, uh, that I would call that what you are holding that shot. If you poke that shot into somebody's forehead, yep, that would be their blue. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, I don't know why. I, I just heard a tale from somebody. From Stay Twitter. here while I listen. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's... Uh, what am I going to do? Well, no, I what? have no insurance. You a pass tag a uh, liner the receipt, but you but you do have this receipt, and you also have the recipient signature and the the seal the seal that it was bearing, right? Well, all I I have is I'm supposed to hand this over to the courier, and bearing this identification, it's all supposed to be anonymously done handled. I how would I know that he is the and client you, you know what Lionel you, you, you sit back first uh, I think what you now said does make sense we might need to bring this to the Duchess we'll see how far we'll help you with this I mean, you... one way to kind of block the uh, Daenerys is to Lionel hear me out Buy out the business. What? I mean, we we take ownership, but obviously you will be in charge and whatnot. It's just a cover to get uh, Daenerys off your ass and coming after us instead. You you know what, Lionel? I uh, I got I got a proposition for you. How do you like to be part of the Midnight Hunters? <laughs> Should I drop up the company um, contract and whatnot? I mean, I oh, it's okay. LLC. It's okay. I already have the contract. I, I and I just take out the contract. Oh, come on. Lionel, how how would you feel if you work for us? <sighs> I I worked all my life for somebody else. All my life. Now it's time for me to. To be free and work for myself. It's I don't okay. think in my age I want to work with anyone else. It's okay, Lino. It's okay. Relax, Lino. Relax. And then, and then you suddenly you... Chechen. Shouldn't we go for a vote? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. It's it's okay, Lino. It's okay. I I pat Lino's back. You you are you are not working for us actually. You're working with us. That's a huge difference. Did you want financial freedom? <laughs> yeah. 
all the provinces. You sound suspiciously like an MLM or Ponzi. What what is an MLM? Suddenly he finds the exit card. Submission paper. Um, 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 Lionel, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Lionel, listen to me. The world is dark and full of horrors. (laughs) But, but together we can overcome this. There is no need to fear, but fear itself. I I pull out my loot and play a dramatic music. (laughs) Lionel, you, you need to understand this. Daenerys has pushed you into a corner that you cannot fight. Without allies, we are your allies, Lionel. We are there for you. We just need your help as well, as much as you need our help. Lionel, why do you say you join us? We have nips already in our business division. All we need is another capable hand. Someone who could help Nip fulfill his business. Nips himself is very bad with connections. He needs... He needs someone much more finesse, much more one bit of finesse, one bit more connections. One, someone. What is going on there? Why is that light? What is that light? Oh, that, that that's that's my icon. He he's here to oh, bright. And, bright. and oh, that person good. is the the lady that that just came out from the back. Oh, you know, that. Are you are you renovating? Is that a new light? Yes, it's <laughs> yes, it's one of the new features that we are testing out in the Dagger Four Inn. Um, it's supposed to be very entertaining, and I play a song. Ta-da! Yeah, it's enough to Leonard to take care, take care of that, take care of that person. Take care, you say. I mean, distract the guy, of course. Oh, you know. distract. Not, not, right. Yeah, not to... That's uh, just distract. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, here, uh, join me for a jaunty tune. I, 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 I shake my head. Ah. People. I know. I need, I, I need to tell you this straight away. We need people like you. And you need people like us. So what do you say? Would you like to join us? The Midnight Hunters? We need a capable man, capable man like you. And Nips need people like you as well to help him. We need men like you who knows people, who knows his way around the town. And, you know, I think you are our guy. I think we can both help each other greatly. So what do you say, Lionel? Would you like to take up this offer? Would you like to expand your business into Karatu? Would you like to help grow our business and achieve financial freedom? You have As you have that, are you you are sweet talking your way to Lionel, and he was actively listening. Uh, doom, 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 doom. Somebody has been banging on the door. I look out the window and see who is it. Got that potong steam betul? You saw. Somebody that is well armed, just outside the door. How many people are there? You saw directly in front of the window, one, and right beside him is another one. But you may or may not see a glimpse of another person. Oh no, it's a hiding crew. (laughs) (laughs) I'll, I'll just say... Uh, there are um, few of them. <laughs> what? You, you do what? The, I'll uh, ask it to the others, just oh. warning the others. There are um, And there are quite a few of them. This is pretty dangerous. Well, this is happening at least doom, 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 doom. towards the back. Um, I, I think it's safer to go back. Come on, let's go, let's go. And I put right, it to the back. Yeah. Lionel, you, might, you might want to stay stay back. Let us handle this. What? what what's going on? I There's customers banging on the door. 
they don't seem like customers line off. Uh, just, just, just be careful. They, they are armed. We are armed. Uh, it's fine. We're different. We, our, our pictures is on the inn. It's different. Want me to open the door? Yeah, Lido, get 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 back first. How far back do you want me? Yeah, just get ready to run away from the back door if you need to. Or the toilet door. Doom, 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 doom. Let's go. I'll open the door. As you open the door. Yes. And... It's the Spanish Inquisition. It's the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Chung, lompat tu masuk. No one, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> no, it's not them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just ask the elder. Yes. What business do you have here? We have business with Lionel. What do you want? Why are you locking the door? What business do you have with Lionel? Our business is our own. But now, bugger off! Mm. Well, Lionel is my business as well. So, does it mean that you should bugger off? Hey, Lionel. He saw Lionel and said, Yes, it's us that we're looking for. <laughs> Come on, good. Say, Lionel, Lionel, this this the Darius's man. Lionel seems to be Darius, henchman. I see. I think they, I think they came to collect. Hey, oh. open up my hood. Oh no! Why don't you, gentlemen? Leave for the time being. Monster! As we are having a... Uh, before that happens, I run ah, in... I... Uh, before that happened, I grab a chair and smack this guy with it. Improvised weapon. That is a D4, if I'm not mistaken, right, GM? Yeah. Bar fight! <laughs> Oh, that's damage. I, I forgot. It's supposed to be D20 to check hit or not. Yeah, the 21st and then we'll damage. 11. Oh, that's damage. Oh, that's Does it hit, GM? Gem. What? Wait, wait, okay. I thought coming Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Leona first. D20, 11. Okay, let's see. 11. No! This one. So... E Swing and a miss, I guess. He, yeah, he easily dodges. Uh, Jim, before yep. that, as I yep. open up my hood, can I roll for intimidation? Try to see if any one of them got intimidated by what I try to ascertain. Uh, your intimidation, is it by your look or by your dread? By my look. Just being menacingly talking to them to leave. So that's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that would be under intimidation. Yeah, why? Why is it so high? Who? The, in, your, the initiative. Ooh, My is so intimidation is 22. Holy shit. My initiative is 28. <laughs> how come? Oh shit, net 20. Wait, how, how, how come you pass 9? Do you, do you have the, another ability? Uh, I increase my... Decks. Also, um, one of the that is for all of them, is it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh wow, they're smart. <clears throat> Fancy footwork, or I think one one of the uh, classes. Uh, okay, so the rope one thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good, man. Jeez, thirty-eight. No one can beat that. There, there. Never say never. Someone can. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, GM, before yep. we start, what kind of brawl are we having? 
Well, yeah. it started with a bar brawl and mm-hmm. it escalates into lots of other things. Okay, so we're pulling out weapons then, right? Yes. Um, okay, uh, just to make the spirit of the whole bar scene fight fun, I'm not going to pull out my weapon until forced to. So, um, I'm just going to club this guy with a quote-unquote uh, stool chair. That would be a club. Let me check for club first. Oh, d d Oh no, that's the wrong kind of club, my friend. Give me a second. What is a club? Uh, one D. Okay. Um, I I use the uh, leg of a chair and swing. Uh, one D twenty first. Eighteen. Does it hit? Okay. Uh, this guy is it? Yeah, closest to me. Okay, it does hit. All right. One D four. Yep. Max! Oof! Oof! Nice! Wow! Yeah! Oh, I remember doing this way back when. This is fun! And I shall move back to defeat. <laughs> uh, yep. He seems to be reeling from that unexpected attack. <laughs> and then, as a bonus action, I pull out my loot and I'll perform. What's that No. Nope, not that one. Perform. Tick tang. Oh god, that's not great. But still. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's so that you change. perform that your loot with your loot. Yep. Okay. Barbara song, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> Chen, what do you do? I'm uh, gonna use twelve of the ten. Ooh, fit out of the the box. Well, what, 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 what happened? That we're gonna talk first <laughs> instead of fighting. Barbara, <laughs> doesn't matter. See, oh god, see, this, this, it's is a a, bra this is a. It started as a bra brawl because we are in a bar, but if they escalated it, then it's not our fault. Oh god. They haven't even made a move. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Because it's a bar. Norman, you, you, you just said that you. Uh, uh, you said that you wanted to Talk do to things first. by talking to people first. Yes, yes. But this is a bar. And I don't think they're in the mood for talking. Oh, now God. we brawl. <laughs> Ooh, they did not say five nickels. <laughs> it was yesterday. That was yesterday. Well, you see, <laughs> and people are saying that I, I'm the aggressor. Different, five location, different location because Damage. This, yeah. <clears throat> if we just injure them, remember? Oh, injure God. them. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have to kill. We'll just injure them. I got non. I I all my methods are lethal. My <laughs> good lord. Uh, wait. Uh, just to clear it off. So all of my cantrips are now at level five, right? Should be. Yeah. Yep. Should be. Are you at level five now? I'm at level six. Then your cantrips should be at level six. No. Yeah. So you can double a drift blast like me as well. Pew 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 pew. Yep. I need to reduce so, them to 1 HP. <laughs> okay, so what? That was Toad of the Dead on... Chen Chen. Toad of the Dead, you point... One. So this one? Or this one? Or this one? This one. So he takes the... Five necrotic and he got damage, right? So that's another yes. extra three. Okay, so total eight necrotic damage. <clears throat> okay, one D twelve necrotic damage. Oh, 
this tree. It takes one detail for the tree. Okay, anything else, Jen? Bonus section, spiritual weapon. <coughs> oh god, 20 hits. Six fours. It was six. And with that, bang. And I, I'm singing and I just keep re repeating, uh, reminding the guys not to kill. Or try at least not to kill. Kill, kill, die, die. You let out a death metal rock song. Oh, God, no. Oh, okay. Hey, kesian lah itik itu. Hati lembut tapi lagu metal. <laughs> Eh, uh, Chen, anything else? <coughs> Can't think of typing. Oh, uh, not POT. Alright, so Carl, your turn. Carl, the peacemaker that does not make peace. He makes pieces. I come in peace, then you go in pieces. Hard <laughs> all, Ken. Yeah, I mean, okay. if I if I choose to intimidate, do they? Uh, do I need to use action, or I can use my bonus action as an intimidation? Well, that intimidation is an action. Okay, I'll try to intimidate them, Jeff, with the help of my icon. Okay. Yep. The but they, the they, they also have advantage because they were suddenly attacked. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's they, fine. Are, cool. they, they are not the aggressor. <laughs> yeah, thanks to a certain talk first some, someone. Okay, so I I declare to them, I was like, Le leave now. This is not a place for any of you. We are the Midnight Hunters and we have some business dealings with Lionel. So, leave, or you shall face our wrath. I could easily turn one of you into a, into a, how say this, uh, into a tiny little creature for the rest of your life, if you do not leave now. And I will try to draw intimidation, I guess. Sure. Wait, advantage. So, let's go. Ah, 16. Are they scared? Oh, not great. They need to wisdom save. Wisdom save. They're scared. No, they got advantage, unfortunately, so no. Are they? Yeah. Do they? Yes. We are, and then they, they, they scream back at you. We did not start this bar fight. You just hit us on the head. Yes. On the noggin. But this is a far fight, so let's fight. But, see, uh, told you. <laughs> they wanted a fight. Uh, I said the fi final warning. If you, if you do not leave, one of you, I will turn one of you into a small tiny creature for the rest of your life. For us, we are defending ourselves. We did not uh, get a uh, strike first. Whatever outcome, it will be on you. Yeah, thanks, Diona. Oh, okay, that's You're it. Welcome. Turn. All right, so what do you got? We'll attack the person in front of him. Which one? This one or this one? The vampire that oh. suddenly, wah, started that. Oh, oh yo. Uh, how much can you get? I can bump up to wait ah, uh, thirteen plus two plus two plus five. So what?
what's that again now? 22. 22. I can uh, bump up until 22. Alright, uh, taking a look see at the first one. Uh, uh, use your spell first. What? No, I'm just asking more to mm. yeah. cast shield onto myself. My AC bumped up to 22. And looking at him almost getting hit, I will use uh, uh, cutting words. Chun Chun Yuga. On the spot? Man, that sucks. But the second attack does not hit. Okay. Yep. And how about the third attack? Only for the first attack. attack. Seven slashing. Yeah, dual handed. The third attack also hits. So seven plus seven. <clears throat> Fourteen. Alright, so that ends the this person's attack. This person will move in okay hold on uh, I need to do something here let's see um, closes the door wait what yeah. closes the door closing the door is an action GM yep And started moving this. Focus, and he says, focus on the spellcaster. Seems to shout to his friends. Okay, the bounty hunter. Kenneth, it's your turn. Okay, what do you do? We still not kill. We'll just make them go very, very painful at once. Non lethal. And I need to do long metal melee attacks, you know? Yeah, he is the te Like, you're talking to the man, though. He can do le non lethal melees. Yeah, but can you do long lethal? I can try. I don't want to kill them. Well, that's your prerogative. I just want to have a bar fight. It's been so long. Just an update, PH is leading now. Oh. Maslan, Maslan won. Nasty Goring Maslan. <laughs> so, anywho. So, don't worry. Who? Eh, what? Oh, wow. Hey. Strength, bounty. What now? What, what are you doing? Are you punching? Oh, cool. Strength, yes. Uh, but first you need to... Roll for attack? Uh, punching does not do strength, uh, ten, uh, Kenneth. You, uh, that's an uh, unarmed strike. Roll a d20 plus your strength modifier. And then the damage will be 1 plus your strength. Modifier, right? Yep. Yeah, just roll a d20. Kind of. We we never really had the opportunity to go to a bar fight. <laughs> oh, roll three to hit. Oh no. No. Oh, you got four. Four. Yeah, because the strength modifier is one. Ah. Uh. So three plus four. That's the um, total limit. You still have... it's, it's not critical missed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have one more attack. Did he? Yep, 
I got long sword and short sword. Ah, yeah. That's why I'm killing them. Ah, okay. That changes everything then. I wanted a bar fight, but they wanted to murder people. Cool. We're doing self defense. You could just you punch attack people. Us. Yes, you have one more, Kenny. Nice! It's 21! <laughs> 1 plus 1, the damage. It's only 2. Mm. Uh, but it's double, right? Yeah, 1 plus 1? So, technically, it's 3, right, yeah? <laughs> this one is genetically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, an up strike, uh, the damage would be 1 plus your strength modifier. Yes. But since it's a crit, it's another plus 1. Yeah, so it's 3. <laughs> Critical <laughs> Gentile Critical Gentile okay, oh. uh, okay, let me check. Is it this one or this one? Okay, that one. one. Alright. So, critical detail Ouch! <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Oh. Yes, I got hit from the last blow. The last, uh, before my turn. I'll draw both of my normal dagger. And the first one, I will strike this one with a booming blade. Oh. Walking, focusing my arcane energy into one dagger that is in my main hand. Then I'll swing with him a booming blade. 13, does that hit, Gem? Uh, it does not. It does not. Alright. And then with my off hand, I will swing this one with a normal dagger. Seventeen. Seventeen. Is it without the modifiers or? Uh, the damage is without the modifier, yeah. so okay. it will be two damage only. Two damage. Okay. Which one? You have you have three people. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. Three damage. So I think it. Will Will be two or three, two I think. Two. Okay. Yeah, without the modifier two. Mm. All right. And Anything else? That I'll for now I will. I'll use for my bonus section. I will convert. Two of my sorcery point into one level one spell slot. Okay. Spell casting and then I EOT. And I just want to pull this out first. And then I'll EOT. Alright. Come in. Oh, no. I shall kill and dagger the guy in front of me. In front of you, okay. Okay, this is gonna be fun. <coughs> ah, shield attack. Shield attack? Captain America! Boom! <coughs> Alright. <coughs> it misses. The dagger misses. Okay, the, the shield. Uh, <laughs> it's for one hit. Yeah. Uh, he has a shield. Ah, let's do. Let's attack that armored guy. <laughs> mm, yes, there is logic Come in your thinking. Bro. And then his friend looks at him incredulously. Are you sure? <clears throat> try and try. Nineteen. Nineteen. Does it hit? Does it miss? 
I think it hit. It hits. Alright. See? He bl see if he bleeds. Ah. He says. String. <coughs> so, 10 damage for Kenny's. Alright, I stopped playing the loot. You know, I've always wanted to try this. And I threw the smoke bomb right here. In nice. an enclosed space! Norman! Nice. In an enclosed space! Are you serious? Yes. Nice! <laughs> Let's chill out. <laughs> it, it won't be a heavy smoke. I promise you. Oh, I can't God. wait for what the GM is ruling. So GM... Bro, a, 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 a SWAT team won't, won't even throw a smoke bomb in when they're inside, man. They throw them up. No, no. It, it is called a smoke bomb, but it does not produce a lot of smoke. Uh, I know, but there's still is an enclosed space and your allies are going to be incapacitated. What the heck are you thinking? Uh, <coughs> so, GM? Oh, okay, sure. Throw smoke bomb right here. That, 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 that vision doesn't, doesn't affect because smoke bomb is different from dark vision. It's uh, obs obscure. So all of them will be, everyone will be obscured. Uh, smoke bomb uh, is... Uh, by the uh, way, this is not uh, the normal smoke bomb. This is the one that um, Vincent gave me. Well, the high smoke bomb? The high smoke bomb. The high smoke bomb. Okay. Drunken High Master Kung Fu Atta. Let's go. Alright, so, uh, what's the radius of the smoke? Uh, it should be, um, a normal smoke bomb has a 20 foot radius. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it says, uh, smoke that creates heavily obscure, blah, 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 but since Vincent say that it doesn't produce that much smoke, but more yeah. of a fun time guess, I think. I think it will only uh, like fit five radius, uh, five feet radius, <coughs> because uh, I'm not focusing on making it smoky. Instead, I'm just wanting it to release that fume. <coughs> That is 5 feet radius. Alright. So, what happens? Well, let's see. The spiritual hammer have to roll a uh, constitution. What? <laughs> really? No, 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 I'm just kidding. <clears throat> right. so this saving throw is on... Okay, smoke bomb. It affects constitution. Was it? Yeah, this one I think it will also... Effect constitution. A challenge rating so. is what my my thing or your thing? Should be your thing, right? Uh, I think it's the uh, according to what the smoke bomb. That's the what? smoke bomb has saving throw. No, that, no. That's the thing. So, uh, according to my saving throw, I put. Okay. My DC is uh my yeah spell DC is fifteen. So everybody inside that will be affected. <laughs> oh, Except for me. Oh, you don't breathe. <laughs> and... Alright, so. Nice. Oh. Kenneth, get high a 16. <laughs> oh no, he can't get high. That's bad. Kenneth, yeah. get, get a sniff. <laughs> Sniff, sniff, well, puff. So far, Ooh. yeah, Ooh. <laughs> nice. No, they, they are already tolerant because they use <laughs> their users. <laughs> All right, so anything else, Leon? Um, as a bonus action, I'm gonna try and take a look. See, how are they? Like, are they are they woozy or something like that? No, I don't know. It's so smoky. Not um, that smoky. I I'll just. Play music then. Then it. <laughs> All right. Chen. <coughs> Not that one out. <coughs> so 
throw the the, the middle one. All right. So so you throw. Is it gonna be at a disadvantage, TM? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yep. I... <laughs> Both are the throw. So eleven necrotic because he already been dealt damage. <laughs> Alright, so anything else? Get into the smoke! <laughs> Get a sniff! I uh, think it will be dissipate once your turn's end. Uh, no, uh, funny enough, uh, it says here, a moderate wind at least 10 miles per hour dissipates the smoke in 4 rounds. As long as wind uh, 20 or more miles per hour dissipates in 1 round. So since it's not windy, uh, you know what? I'm going to... So it should be four or more, depending. Okay. <clears throat> now we have a new weapon. Yes. This is going to be fun. On Camille, Chill of Thief. Chill of Thief. Uh, early Shimmering Steel appears and surrounds a creature of your choice willing granted a AC plus. Ooh, and it's a concentration. Wait, uh, concentration? Uh, spiritual weapon does not use concentration. Okay. So. Oh, you, you scan around incredulously looking at whatever is happening around you. Phew! Let's go back. Yep. Smart choice. I will try to intimidate, intimidate them again. Jeff? <laughs> With advantage oh. because they're so fucking drunk. Yeah. Yeah, advantage, Jeff? Oh. Well, actually, not with advantage because oh. it either they really understand you or they are impervious yeah, to true. whatever indica indication. They are high, but... High like a kite! Uh, you know what, GM? Yep. I, I, I am going to intimidate them again with the help of my Archon. Archon's okay. going to help me. So okay. I will intimidate them again. I was like, this is, this is your last warning. If you do not want to be devoured by a demon, you will leave here and do not return. <laughs> nope, very bad, very bad. <laughs> yeah, this is very bad. Uh, wisdom, oh. let's try. I mean, I mean, let's try, let's try wisdom. <sighs> very bad, roll, very bad, roll. And. <laughs> Else? <laughs> That's it. I cannot do much. I can I cannot attack. If I attack, they'll die. Alright, so um he will go about attacking the vampire. How, guy. how is his condition, GM? Like what what is how does he look like? He seems to be okay right now. He he is a bit high, mm -hmm. <laughs> literally high. Mm -hmm. So he will attack and with the disadvantage. GM, you know what to do. Oh, that one, that one. Literally. You lose Oop. your footing. Your dexterity attack defeats your. Wow, literally, it goes into... 16! Oh, not bad. Uh, and tune. Oh, and tune. Oh, and tune. Oh, and tune. Oh, turn has ended. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, his turn has ended. Wow. Yep. 
because of slip up. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. True, true, true. yeah, and it really reflects what's going on. It's literally high. Mm. <laughs> the word? Yeah, okay. And with that, this guy is also attacking the vampire. This guy. Eleven misses. Swing, swing, swing. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Chun. The uh, shield is. Uh, I'll take that fight, flashing. Okay. Ah. Uh, Eight misses. All right. Poke it with her sword. Your attacks are at advantage. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Heightened senses are increased because of the smoke. <laughs> Who are we keeping for our sleeves? <laughs> you elves. <laughs> Two hands. That one. Twenty, twenty-four. Three, twenty-four, two. <laughs> three and two. Five total. Yep. Three and two. Five. Six. Take your picture. <laughs> oh god. D O T. Uh, it's a. Uh... I'll do the same thing, Jam. I will booming blade this motherfucker. Okay. This one. All right. Booming blade. Oh. Concentrating on my, my arcane into the dagger, and then I'll start swinging it. Public roll, add advantage. Net 25. 20. Net 20. Okay. So it will, uh, <laughs> for the hit, it will get 3 plus 1 piercing plus 8 plus 6 thunder damage. Oh. An extra 8 plus 6 thunder damage. Total of? Uh, 4, 18. 12, yeah. 18 total damage. Yep. Guy, right? Yeah, but 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 he only gets because the damage if he move if he move right. He didn't move yet. No, no, no. Uh, because of uh, uh, my, I'm at level five. Any melee attack has an extra D eight uh thunder damage. Oh. And if he move, he will corner uh two D eight thunder damage. Ooh. So. He is enveloped with a thundery energy. If we try to move, we will kind of two d eight thunder damage. I see, I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then I will swing this dude with a normal dagger. With advantage, nineteen for total four. No, wait, that's not four. It's only. Oh no. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Salah, Salah, it's only three. Three? Just take the three, because oh, uh, I Salah tekan. It should be normal dagger, not silver dagger. Oh. Wait, if, if that's the case, shouldn't it be... Wait, one plus two, one only, right? Ah, yeah, one damage only. Yeah. Offhand. One damage. Okay. Like no, this okay. one. All the right. one that attacks me. Alright. And then I will... And the turn for now. Renokan, I went the guy in front. Is it advantage or just normal? Advantage, you remember, right? Yep. Advantage. Yeah. 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 Remember, Kabil, non lethal, non lethal. Okay, we'll see when that happens. <coughs> Shield attack, three. Dagger hit. Mm. 
Is it that? Is it that? Nope. It's still standing. Okay. First blood for the name. Yes. They're not high. Well, he's not high. He's not high. He's not high. He's not high. He's not more. Okay, then. He's not high. He's high. But they are still in the smoke, right? Mm -hmm. So yep. they couldn't uh, get. So roll another one? Nah, I think uh, for now we. Leave it there uh, until we can make a decent set, an uh, actual set for the item. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is within you and GM. I just use. Yep, yep. All right, see, this guy is going to attack the non breathing guy. Fourteen misses. Yep, 14 misses. 15 misses. Mm. 21 misses. 21 misses. Oh. Wow. I'll, uh, as the short sword trying to hit me, I'll use my reaction to cast shield. Doing. And then bumps up my AC to 21 until the start of my uh, next turn. Okay. Yuna, your turn. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. <clears throat> I shall... Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run towards the... Is that there? Yeah, let's go away. Yep, I'm just going to run on top of the table here and strike this guy with my rapier rapier, there we go huzzah with advantage? no let me double check that again so GM, I'm on high ground, does it does it give me advantage? nope no, okay, so 14, does it hit? nope no. Hmm. That's concerning. So, bonus action. Run away! Done. Saving toll of the DC fifteen on this one, this one, or this one, this one. This right. one. Okay. Center. Center. Saving throw fifteen. Ah. Uh. So um. Uh -oh. it. We told you not to kill him. Ten point. <laughs> Ten point. Chances die. Ten point. Chances die. He falls. <laughs> right. Anything else? Then? The OT. Yes. 
Good weapon. Oh, cool. Yes. Okay. Yes, the a bonus action. Yep. Okay. Bonk this guy. Go to horny jail. Oh, okay. Hello? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is bad. Either way, it doesn't look good. I don't know how, how to solve this situation. Do you... <sighs> I think we didn't again. I'll send to put down the weapons and surrender. Or die. 22. No, they got they got they got advantage, so they oh. pass. Yep, right now they are so adult and in breach. Well, one of them fell. Bodyguard. Okay. So the bodyguard. One sword, one handed. Miss. Misses. Misses. Fifteen misses, I think. I think misses. Twenty one, I think, does not. Uh, it's hit. Does not hit at nine. Bard. They seem to be attacking left, right. I think there's some effect from, from the, the smoke. They seem to be not focused attacking. 18, does it hit? Camille? Eh? 18. What? Hits? No? Miss? Ah, uh, my AC 22. Ah. Oh, that, that. <laughs> katang, katang, katang. And the last one. Hope to hit an unintended foe in combat. Randomize all combat. If I fit a okay. second row attack. If you, okay. So, it's 50-50 between... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I hate the spiritual weapon. You're high. <laughs> Even. Okay, let's try hitting the vampire. Okay. Misses. <laughs> Just hitting whatever that is in front of and the back or whatever. <laughs> Alright, can it? Get that down, die, die, or just die because of Toro the Dead. Yep, it's not tall of the unconscious. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. This one, the <sighs> but Jingchen, you 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 have to communicate with the date, right? Yeah. What is Kenny rolling again? Uh, I think he's trying to do that uh, unarmed attack, is it? Uh, punching. Oh, punching. No, technically you can still use your melee weapon and just use it non-lethal. The first one would be 8, the second one would be 19, 19 to hit. The first one doesn't hit, the second one would be 3 damage. Alright. So 3 damage. Eh, no, no, 2 damage only, Wait, because it's not a crit. One plus one. Morbius. Ah. Time to suck All his right. blood. I'll shift both of my dagger. I will went for. I will go for this bodyguard. I can't believe I'll do this. I'm lunging at him and try to... I knew it! He knew it! This is a vampire! Fortunately, your bite misses. Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> you bite me! <laughs> mm. Yeah. Carl's like, holy shit, I knew he was a vampire. No, I'm not. Oh. Sure, 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 sure you're not. And then, as I did that and misses, so I'll just stand there and look at him dead in the eye. That is fine, blah, telling, blah, blah. Him, telling him that I will come for him till the end. <laughs> is that intimidation? In 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 intimidation? Or in time, well, I don't want to spoil someone's lunch, so uh, I'll try not to. But at least let Venom can get some of your blood. Shield attack, dagger attack. I'm curious, why why shield and dagger? Is this one advantage or not not advantage anymore? Oh, this one. Why no shield more, and dagger? Uh, no more advantage. Good question. Flavor, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, normal advantage, huh? Normal. They're not high anymore. Ah, uh, normal lah, okay. Uh, Shield then dagger, it. because yeah. you distract first, then you hit. Okay. Normal lah, okay. I did send the stats to GM, so wait for 35 minutes. <coughs> Is that a dead? Is it dead? Uh, you can make it non-lethal. <laughs> By the shield, I don't think he's Yeah, dead. make it non-lethal. From the dagger, totally. The dagger is... Yeah, mati you ha you don't have a non lethal venom. <laughs> no, uh, the venom poisons only uh has disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. It it will get an yeah, uh the terus get from the dagger he will terus get the six plus two damage, but he had to roll a DT <laughs> or not he will be poisoned and then get the poison damage. There's poison mm -hmm. damage in this game. I thought it's only affecting your rolls. No nope, poison oh, damage. Yeah, yeah. That's poison damage. That's how you get poison. That's uh, poison condition and also poison damage. Ah, okay. All situation. Okay, okay, that's not gonna. That's not gonna the poison. I'm so I think he's still standing. He is. Still up, lucky dude. Well, don't want to spoil someone's dinner. But you know, a little bit of a tea time for Venom Kun. You... Oh, my turn. <coughs> mm -hmm. So 
looking at the chaos happening right now. So I'll move around, take 25 uh, feet of movement and just attack with the rapier again to this guy. Wow, my attack grows up that today. And I'll just hit back here. And end the turn. End the turn. Chen Chen! <laughs> He's killing them all. That's now non lethal spell damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we see fifteen. Uh. We can see. Wise. That's not gonna. <coughs> Good rich for a full weapon, seventeen. Okay. That does it. Bonk, go to forty here. Anything else? Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking. Hey GM, who, who, who is this girl? Is she just an adventurer, right? Yeah, she just take, she just took a dump. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'll just create a minor. I create a minor illusion here of uh of uh, monstrous head trying to intimidate intimidate them uh, using minor illusion okay yeah so yeah they need to take their wisdom swimming throw I guess nope they are not intimidated yep seen that team for So, uh, let's attack the vampire. They're still in the circle? Yep. So that means they need to make another constitution. I, I, I think that one I need yeah, DM to refine the rule, ruling. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, he's drunk. Fourteen. Yep. Nine. <laughs> okay. Con save? Yep. It's a guy. Also, con save. Huh. Sixteen. He's not drunk. Yep. Uh, attacking the vampire. Who? Yes. Uh, Luckily. <laughs> if he's drunk. Sixteen. Same meter. Seventeen. Seventeen chun chun. Oh no. I'll take that damage. Alright, okay. Kenny, it's your turn.
to handle. No, the first one. Did Swift advantage, right? Attacking this one because he is drunk. Oh, yeah. This is true. Lucky. Alright, first one. 200. 10 damage. Next one is critical. Anything else? Vincent, it's your turn. Alright. First of all, <clears throat> it is the time as I start to elongate all of my limbs. Oh. Now it's the time targeting the one that I'll be targeting from before. Okay. I will launch at him and attack him with vampire bite. At advantage because my health is half from my actual health. Mm. Yep. Seventeen. Seventeen to hit Jim. It does hit. Uh seven piercing. And then I could choose to empower it by one of the choices. And I will choose... I will gain the ability check or attack roll. You may add the bonus equal to the piercing. And what is this? The next ability check. What is that bonus, huh? Yeah. Oh, ability checks or yep. attack roll. Just plus 7 on it, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Instead of healing myself. <laughs> and he has to roll a wisdom save or not be frightened by me. Oh yeah, plus that one, yeah. Ah. Uh, DC 15? DC 15. Uh. My turn! Ah. Hold up, I need to roll something I forgot. Oh, one. Oh, that's for the extra life? Three. Uh, yeah, three time hit point. Oh, okay la. Three time. And... I will end my turn menacing looking at it. Python. Alright, so, Camille, your turn. Well, since someone already had their lunch, my turn. Yeah, shield and dagger. Bonk. Ooh. Ooh, dagger venom. Okay. So, confirm six. And he has to do. Ah. Mm. 6-7 poison damage. Oh no. 7 or 17? 17, sorry my bad. Ah. Oh. Venom mm. Kun likes it. Oh, Mati. Mmm. He really likes it. <laughs> okay, don't kill that one. Yeah, reading stuff. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna try this. It's been a while since I used this one, but um, I'm going to run in between um, Lenovo and Chen, and I'm going to cast Lenovo. Sorry, um, Lionel. And I am going to cast um, Charm Person on this guy. He has advantage. Ah. Wait, um, the spell DC here is a bit off. My spell safe DC is 16 here. It should be 15. Yeah. Oh, 15, not 16. It's 15. It's written there, 15. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait, uh, is it a spell attack? Attack? No, I don't think so. It's not an attack. It's so, just... it's, it's, they, uh, it's a flat roll? No, no, no. They have advantage on the... Oh, okay. Upper they, they have advantage on the uh, roll if we are fighting it. Saving yeah. throw. Yeah. Saving throw. Uh, Norman, can you check your spell sheet? What is the spell DC? It, 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 it's 15, because at her level, the most she can do is 15. But my, right. my here says, uh, well, the box says spell save DC is 16. 15? It's, it's no, here, no, no, within the Yeah, 15. I know, but the thing at my three boxes there, it says 16. It should be 15, because if you have 8, your, your proficiency is 3, right? Uh, spell casting proficiency? Okay. Your proficiency is 3, right? Uh, spell casting at, at ability is, at, um, is charisma. My charisma no, no, bonus no, 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 is... No, no, no. I, I'm talking about your proficiency. You're, you're at proficiency 3 only, right? Proficiency bonus 3, yes. So, how, how is your charisma? 5. How, how come your charisma is 5? I'm at 20. Yo, how come your charisma is 20? I don't know. I just increased it when I reached level 4. You can't get 20 charisma though. Well, the Norman. The GM says okay with my character. Uh, wait. With it. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's true because he can put it up to fifteen at the start, and then from Tiefling he will get another two, that is seventeen. Yeah, the most get is nineteen. He can't mm. get twenty. Mm. But even at nineteen, it should be sixteen on DC. Yeah, it should. It's only you know nineteen is only it's it's not it's not that only twenty only there'll be sixteen. 19, oh, 19 okay. is still, yeah, remember 19 is nothing, so 20 is the only one that plus 5. 19 is still considered as 18. Correct? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so it should not be 16, it should be 15. Because at your level, it's, you can't do it. Uh, because especially when we use point by system. <coughs> well, the wisdom save is still 17. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> just making sure. So yeah, um, I guess I understand then. Damn. The bodyguard killer. And saving throw is wisdom. Saving throw F. Ooh. I guess it's dead. It's gonna to be told. Nine damage. He got told. Right? Mm hmm. Nine necrotic damage. Can the spiritual weapon move? Yes, it can. Yes, but we don't want to kill it, right? No. This is... Tell that to Chen. He already killed one. Huh? Two, actually. Oh. Well, luckily, it did not hit. Oh. Actually, to meet them with the illusion again. Alright, so we still do a wisdom check. 
Ah. Yeah. Now this is indicated. And that's it. I made it. So does it give up? Nah, he's just fighter. Fighter by Carl, right? The floating head that you see here. <laughs> yep. Okay, anything else? Okay, that thing. Now he has a uh, floating head here, there is a floating weapon here, and there is that thing here. So, being frightened, disadvantage, 16. Attacking? Attacking. He had this, this spiritual weapon, the vampire. This guy, the vampire. The first one misses, second one hit. Fifteen misses. Eleven slashing. Find him. Yes, that's what we want. And he's done. So this is me, Chen. Oh. Oh. Uh, and if you want, you but can just you use can just your change. yeah. Bing. Fourteen. Mister. So basically, Kenneth, if if you try to move away from the opponent, you need to disengage. But that means you start the action. Mm -hmm. If not, they can give you a free attack. Mm -hmm. Or in this situation here, you could just. Uh, melee attack him, non-lethal. Yeah, melee, melee attack, you can, you can just use a sword to melee attack him. It's it's non-lethal, yeah, it's just non-lethal. You can do the same amount of damage. Mm. You just need to declare first. Uh. That's why I cannot attack. If I attack, you get, the guy will die. Yeah, you should have punched him. You get an advantage on that. Oh, right now. All right. So, um, what do you do? If I shoot him, he die. Chances are high, yes. Yep. Let me suck him dry. Oh. To suck your blood. Yeah, you know what, kids? If you kill him, it'll be fine. Uh. We, we cannot do much really, right now. No, I, I can suck him until he's fainted. You could just interrogate him for information and see what. God damn it. Okay. Oh. No, you can you, you you need to heal yourself. Huh? Uh -huh. Heal three. You heal yourself? Yeah, that's what you do. Uh, okay. Oh, one D8 only. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You want to suck his blood? Again, I will launch at him. Like from his friend from before. With advantage. 25. 25, 5 piercing damage. And do you heal yourself or...? Oh, okay. It is uh, on the attack roll, okay. It's not 35 actually, it's 32. Yeah, plus 7. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, I'll, for this one, I will take the 5 for healing. And then he has to roll a wisdom check or not be frightened by me. Well, technically he's already frightened, but yes. Oh, someone else. He's frightened. He's frightened by the floating head. Does he, does he have advantage, PM? Or he's still he's disadvantage? Still disadvantage. No, he has a disadvantage or advantage? Disadvantage. 
Yes. And uh, he's still up, Ajem. Mm-hmm. Looks like still it. up. Okay. Uh, looks like it, but very frightened left and right, and seems to be cornered and by the bar oh, stool. Menacing the. As the bonus, I shall just tell him to give up. Ori no tan. I move in. Venom Kun is hungry. I shall shield. Bonk. Nine pieces. Just and rapier. Oh, Not wait, lethal. Oh. It should be at advantage. Yeah, Can but... <laughs> Ah, advantage. Okay. The shield, shield, shield attack. And... <laughs> yeah. Uh, technically. Okay, it's that's nine and okay. twenty-one. Nine. Yeah, twenty-one. Yes, then rip here. Then piercing. Okay, stick it again. Stick it again. Now, little, we got our prisoner. Stick it again. Stick it again. We can now little it. EOT? EOT or end of encounter? Ah. Hmm, yes. I'll, I'll move here. I'll try to talk to the guy. I'll just say, you know, you better lay down your arms. And I'll promise you that we won't hurt you. And we'll kill your wound. Thirty-seven. Well, you're not trying to persuade, are you trying to be sad? Yep. And he will rely. Yep. That one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's Mercy. It. All right. Mercy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So Mercy. now, guys, guys, don't attack him. Don't attack him. We're going to treat him well. We're going to treat him like a guest here. Just things went awry and uh, a bit of brouhaha happened. Isn't that right, bodyguard number three? He is too frightened to respond. Now he is surrounded by menacing looking and scary looking people and weapon. Good, good. So, what happened here? Repeat it again. He is whimpering. An accident happened. And there was a accident at the tavern. Isn't that right? He seems to be senseless. Doubly, doubly frightened. Does that he wet himself? Oh god, no. And he seems to be non talkative right now. Alright, uh, cool, 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 cool. So, um, I am going to try to um, bring him to the table and sit him down for a drink. Do you want to tie him up? No, he suffered enough. Why so are we ending the turn order? Yep. Alright. And let me all turn. Clear and So GM, I want to do something. Okay. I, I go to the young lady. Is she frightened? Or is she excited by all this? <laughs> As the turn order goes, I'm revert back to my normal self. Yeah. So So wait, wait, Jen, let me let me do this first, sir. Uh, let me do first. I want to, I want to do something. So, okay. Jeff, so is, is the little girl frightened around here? She seems to be... Yes, she seems to be deeply affected by this. So, so she's affected by the frightened condition, right? No, she is... She, she's a witness of the spectacle that unfolded in front of her. I see. She saw everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Young, young, young lady... Oh, 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 are you okay? Are you okay, young lady? Are you hurt? And she's going like that. Lionel, 
keep these people away from me. Young lady, are you hurt? And Lionel just says, Tranquilo, tranquilo. What? Right? Suddenly he went, he reverted to Spanish. Mm. Calm, calm. Uh, and then she, she seems to be cautious. She's not really, you cannot call her frightened. She's a bit wary and distrustful of everything that's going on around her. Imagine going out of the toilet and then suddenly you saw somebody started attacking people. Oh, you know what? It's, it, it's, it's just gonna. <sighs> I'm just gonna try this. Uh. It's, I might, it's probably not gonna work, but I'm just gonna try this anyway. And a uh, uh, vampire uh, sucking blood. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to do a suggestion and I'm gonna say. Young lady, calm down. Remember, remember that uh, Daenerys' bodyguard came in trying to take Lionel and when we stopped him, they tried to kill us. Go and alert the town about this. Fine. Wait, what? It works? Uh, no, GM, does she, does she need to take a role or she voluntarily failed the spell safety thing? Well, this is going to be interesting. You will try to roll persuasion check. I'm I'm using the cost suggestion spell. Yeah. Oh, suggestion. Okay, 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 yes. Okay. Concentration, concentration, concentration. All right. It is the uh con trick. Is the con safe right now? Uh, what was it again? Con safe. No wisdom. No, wisdom. this is with, This is now wisdom. Is that a uh, ability check? No, no. It, it's somebody check. She needs to do a wisdom saving throw. All right. Suggestion. Yep, she failed. Yeah. So I, I what I try try to do, I did try to modify her memory of the events that happened. Uh, we were just trying to protect Lionel from from the thugs of Daenerys, and hopefully she's gonna spread the word around how that Daenerys got tried to kill Lionel. Try to kill I know while he refused to go with them. Okay, all right. Some, some Jedi mind trick. I was trying I was trying to think about how to solve this situation. So the best I came up with this is this because I know it doesn't look good, especially if there's a witness here. So once mm -hmm. I modify a memory, hopefully we can get to a good situation. And then make her forget everything she saw. Uh, well, we don't want her. She's gonna be our witness. So she we I modify her memory and say remember. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, okay, before, before we let her leave, I want you to say it properly so we have it on record. Say, say, say what? How, how do you say the line just now? Just now, just now, when, when I told her at the time, it's already on record. Okay. Yeah. Basically, I, tell, I told her, remember that, you know, where the Daenerys' bodyguard tried, <laughs> came in and tried to take Rhino, where we tried to stop them, they tried to kill everyone here. Mm. So go. Go and let people in the town know of what happened. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this, this is the best I can do uh, in this horrible situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, well, you did the suggestion, so, and you hope for the best. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Jim, I yes. drag this bodyguard, the one that... Uh, oh, I that thought you were yeah, dragging yeah, that uh, guy. This one I was to ushering to, to the seat. To, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm dragging him and sit him ah, yeah. here. Right, uh, while, while all this is happening, I, I asked Lionel to uh, come to our room. Uh. Let, let, let's, let's go to so someone safe, Lionel. Follow, follow me. Follow me, Jikama. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Lionel, as, as you can see, Daenerys is, is not playing around. He even sent his thugs on you, Lionel. So what 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 are you going to do? Are you going to let him bully you, or would you like to join us? By the way, this is with advantage. <laughs> this situation is getting out of hand. He 
he did say that he's coming today. And did he did? Yes. Ah, oh, this used to be a great establishment. I like serving the people of this tavern. I know. I know. You, what do you mean by used to? This is still a great establishment. As long as you're here, I think this place will still be doing fine. So, I don't know what, is, what do you say. Do you have to join us? And let us combat this injustice together? Injustice, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is that like Adam? <laughs> They will keep coming and coming. Or would you like to put up a fight, Rhino? Or, or you just, or would you just surrender to Daenerys and let him take everything you work hard for away from you, just like that? I will file a petition to the Duchess. I see. I see. But would you like to join us, Rhino? Join us, Rhino. We need people like you. How do you mean join you? I want you to be part of the Midnight Hunters business group. LLC. We need Yes, we need we need good men like you, right now. Join us and together we shall file a petition to the Duchess. Both as a friend as as an and as a comrade of the Midnight Hunter. Uh, roll persuasion check. Okay, fine, you fine. Need me to we have advantage by the way, because <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Do you need me to come in and shut him up? <laughs> yeah, can I roll deception? What? Deception? Why? You're, you're lying about this? No. But, uh, fine. But the search persuasion is always not good. But let's try and see. Alright, hope for the best. 12. 12. Yeah, okay. see? It's, like, it's always bad. Persuasion is always bad. 15. No. Yep. Oh, yeah, my persuasion is bad. <sighs> I... wishes to remain independent. I, this is, this is not ideal, but I do not want to be tied down. If there is a trade war, if I have to close down this establishment, I worked so hard all my life to establish this. I... I cannot give you a promise of alliance but as of yet. I will it's try okay. to petition the Duchess. It's okay, Lino. You you know what? As as a friend, as a personal friend, and as a potential future member of the Midnight Hunters, I, I pass him the contract, Jeff. <laughs> if I say contract, uh we will we will help you do a petition. And as you know, we have Direct audience to the Duchess. Let's head over to the Duchess tomorrow. I need to clear the mess up front. Hmm. I got a feeling that Morbius has a a bag for that. Yeah. And suddenly Morbius comes into and block the the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> what bag? You block the you block the doorway out. <laughs> nah, what bag? As I heard, heard oh. that final part. Oh, right, okay. What bag? <laughs> you know, the bag, <clears throat> the certain bag that we managed to find during our previous encounter? Uh, that, that can be arranged. Yeah. Carl. Uh, you, anyway, you Carl. Understand, you understand yeah, what I mean? <laughs> hey, by the way, the bag is with you, lah. Mm-hmm. No, you, you, you took it. You, you said you wanted it, right? So I passed it to you. I, 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 I said that we have a use for it, but I didn't take it. Oh, okay. You, you, I pass it to you, lah. Since, <laughs> since I think you, 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 you will like it. You want, you want it? Uh, not so, but uh, I was about to ask, uh, can may I have the shard? The shard, fine. But you, we, you, we're coming with you. If yeah. you want to find out, we need to find out more about the shard, but I'm coming with you. I might have some ideas. Yes, because but I, I have a feeling that if you want to see the Duchess, we need to find the real identity of the shard that he's transporting. Because whatever it is, it's dangerous. So, I, I yes. so I know, if you ever change your mind, do let me know, and 
can you do me a favor and help Nitz out with his with our farm? He seems to have trouble looking for good people. And um, I think I know I know that you can help us find some good people that could manage the farm. I think Daenerys has a lot of enemies, and I think you are more than aware of many of them. So yeah. We like to offer help to people like you who has been wronged by Daenerys. Me and Nitz will form a resistance. Mm. Yeah. Or, we, or we are the we, midnight hunters, protector of. We will, be, we will be the separatists. Well, I would I would like to say that we are the defenders of justice. And so, the shard. <laughs> okay, okay. I pass him the shard. The Morbius. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I Wait. took a shot, and you guys can interrogate him first. I'll will be back with the. Sure, surely. Well, I'm going with Mobius. You guys go on and be your interrogation. I'm coming along too. This is fun. Uh, no, no, no. You, you, you go with your interrogation. <clears throat> so, like, how it goes? <laughs> Who's gonna do the interrogation? Alright, so, um, we will keep this for next week. The interrogation. Yep. Mm-hmm. We have that. So, you have two dead bodies inside the establishment. Uh, somebody will be split, somebody will be going out, somebody will be interrogating, and somebody will be sucking blood, 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 blood. Yeah, I mean, this is Diona's idea, so Diona should be the one doing yeah. the interrogation. Next week, before we leave, I will ask Carl to devour the two bodies first. Uh, before we devour, we devour GM, can we, before we end the session, can we do a we investigation can... check on the bodies? All right, sure. We never investigated about this before. We throw them for to into oblivion. Let's do this. Do investigation first. For advantage. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Nineteen. Ooh. All right. So okay. So both of you are. One of you is checking one. The the one is checking the other one. So uh. Interestingly enough, you find some. Mundane items, well, you definitely found two long swords and two short swords and a suit, two suits of um, leather armor. Right, so, and you also found. <laughs> You found a potion of healing. Ooh. Yep. And, 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 and. Another potion that seems to be like purple in color. Hmm. So before Carl heads out, right, um, I'm asking for my ring back. Oh, okay. Oh, remember, Leona, we, we said that we're going to share our loot. Mm-hmm. This is your, your suggestion. So, the ring is currently with Camille. Because Camille is uh, one of our tanks. No, no, no. Uh, my, the other ring. Oh, okay, okay. That ring. Okay, yeah. I, I passed to Leona her ring. All right, thank you. Sorry, I thought you talk about the ring of regeneration. Oh, no, no, no. The, okay, uh, that, that explains stuff. Okay, no problem, then. Yeah, I got a feeling Leona trying to slip out into the toilet. But you know what? Yeah, I tell, I tell Camille, Camille. I pass, I pass, pass to him the potion. I was like, come here, take care of the bodyguard, tie him up, and you know, if needed, you can dispatch of him. Call devour those bodies first. Yeah, that and and I devour the bodies. Jam, the bodies doesn't have any any clue to any letter or clue, right? Uh, well, I'll just devour the bodies. <laughs> so you, it's like a paper. Sh- it's like a shredder. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, officially, what does it do? Uh, basically, anything that goes inside will disappear. Any living thing that goes inside will be destroyed. Uh, any non-living thing, they will be stored inside. And once, once per day, they, the thing will spit spit out a random item. A random item into some other planner. Oh. So basically, anything that goes inside is dead. So so. Oh. Yeah, so so the, one of the options I was thinking of 
is to polymorph them into a turtle and then throw them inside. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that, that works. That works. I mean, you can polymorph them into a slug. Still. So, yeah. you polymorph them into a slug before you dispose of them inside? Oh, oh why would I? Why would I? Just, I just, just, just shove like the them inside. Yeah, I just shove them inside. The debug bag, they all do the job. Okay. They'll suck it. They'll suck him in. Check, check, so check, 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 check. Who will be present when you are doing this grisly uh, action? Be present. Well, here now, I guess. Everyone here. Alright, so everyone roll a perception check. Oh, God. This Group is like perception. This, yeah, this is like a dharma already. <laughs> this is group perception, by the way. So, uh, All right. nice, good. All right. Ah, Chan, Kenneth, and Vincent. You, as the the task is done, in which uh, Carl is throwing the body bit by bit. Not, not, not bit by bit, GM. I just, I just gonna put, put, touch it a bit, then the thing will suck it inside Ooh, automatically. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I'm not, I'm not cutting them into bit by bit. No, it's it's just gonna the previous thing. Suck. No, the it's back sick. will suck it a bit by bit. It's like a snake trying to devour a whole body. Yeah. No, but the thing will be instantly suck inside, right? It's written there. The thing will suck inside. Yeah, you... But it's sucking instantly. slowly. It's instant. <laughs> it should be an instant, right? It's just one action. So it counts as instant. Does it say that in C? Yeah, it's, it's written there. It's written there, Jim. It doesn't say instantly, but it says that it'll be sucked inside. Alright. It, it is sucked inside. It resembles, well, it... <laughs> I, think, I imagine it like a genie, you know? The genie goes in the bottle. Yes. I imagine it like a snake devouring a whole body. <laughs> Yeah, okay, fine, okay, it will stuck inside. But then again, the, the three of you, uh, okay, all of you can can hear it, slurping noise. As it devours the first body, and then by the second body. Yeah. So, Vincent, Chan, and Kenneth seems to notice the the opening the the back that that where all the bodies were sucked into seems to twist a bit as if it was smiling yeah yeah that that's that's how how it is uh. that was how that was a game d and d game where the people became like murder hobos killing. <laughs> killing bodies and feeding it to the back of the warring to satisfy it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh by then <sighs> the body's first body's gone, second body's gone. I I, I throw it to Chen Chen and say, like, Chen Chen, if um <clears throat> you know what to do with it, right? Just in case. Just yeah. don't try to put your hand in it. Yeah, just don't put your hand in it. Just you know, I if mean, if our friend our friend here doesn't want to give you information, you know, this is that's a quick way to settle this. I mean, we do have that ring. If anything happens, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so... and I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's how we'll be heading to Diablo. Yeah, I'll follow. I'll follow him, Morbius. Sir. Week, uh, Morbius and Carl is going to the devil. Yep, and uh, Yona trying to sneak out as well, even though this is an idea. Hmm? Me sneaking out? No. Why do you think I'm sneaking out? Mm, of course, of course you're not. Surely, you're not here. Yeah, I'm there. 